breaking news out of the NFL where Aaron Rodgers has been carted to the locker room with an apparent ankle injury. No! There's no way! <laughs> No the running joke of the offseason has been that the NFL is scripted. Everybody knows the NFL scripted. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Fans have been speculating about this for years. And after Arian Foster jokingly claimed that the NFL was scripted, the memes began to run. What more do you want from me? <laughs> and even Roger Goodell jokingly talked about it. It's a pretty good script this year, wouldn't you say? Even the NFL has leaned into this with a commercial, which many people agree is genius marketing. But man, whose idea was it to write the Jets script? Maybe the most anticipated debut in some time, the Jets hosted the Bills on the first Monday night football game of 2023. And most importantly, they now had Aaron Rodgers. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. So after months of hype, what was the revitalized four-time MVP going to show the world with his new team? Protection breaks down and time runs out. Down goes Rodgers in the sack for Leonard Floyd. The former first round pick of the Bears and now Rodgers sits down. He's coming out of the game. The moment Rodgers sat down, you can just feel the collective gasp of the crowd. No, there's no way. <laughs> There's no way! Rodgers stepped on the field, and it was handoff, throwaway, penalty, and sack. Four plays. He didn't even complete a single pass. As Rodgers was carted off the field, outrage and rumors swirled online. Is it an ankle? Is it an Achilles? Are the Jets cursed? Brian Sutterer, a doctor who runs a YouTube channel, reacted to the injury pretty quickly after it happened. As he plants here, I want you to see how in this frame, everything is pretty taut in the back of his calf. We can see these little contours, that's gonna be his calf musculature. His foot is anchored and planted on the ground. And then as I advance a couple of frames, we see everything just kind of release. And it's right there in that release where I'm worried he might have suffered a significant calf injury, potentially even an Achilles injury because the foot is still planted. There should still be load and tension through these muscles but we see everything just kind of give and release as he goes down to the ground. Meanwhile, for the game itself, Zach Wilson had stepped in and did pretty much nothing. Here's how the Jets' first half offensive drives played out. Punt, another punt, an 83 yard run by Brees Hall that led to a field goal, then an interception and a kneel down. The Jets trailed 13 to three at halftime. With no signs that their offense was going to open things up in the second half, all Josh Allen and the Bills had to do was not make any big mistakes. And everything should turn out fine for them. Allen gets rid of it down the middle. It is picked. As is picked again. Allen lost the snap. Ball comes out and it's recovered by the Jets. The call is fumble. Jets ball. With three second half turnovers, the Bills completely melted down. The Jets, who had no business being in that game, suddenly, after a field goal, led with less than two minutes to play. Also during that stretch, what about that insane catch by Garrett Wilson? Have you ever heard Joe Buck this hype? Garrett Wilson, wow, what a catch! Touchdown, Jets! That kid's amazing. There is no way. Also, an underrated part of this touchdown was this dude just jumping right over Wilson during the celebration. Anyways, luckily for the Bills, they managed to get into field goal range to try and tie things up. And then what about this kick? Hits the upright, it's good! Overtime, the Bills won the toss, chose to receive, and immediately had to punt. But they shouldn't be too worried because the Jets offense seemed to have no faith in Zach Wilson at this point. They're gonna have to hope that something good, oh my goodness. Turn, near side. I don't see any flags. Gibson inside the 30. It's the Jets. And he's gonna go. Jets win it. Touchdown, rookie Xavier Gibson. Game over. You know somewhere Deshaun Jackson was smiling. This was just the fourth walk-off punt return touchdown. And it hadn't happened since 2011. But the best part by far was that the guy who returned the punt Xavier Gibson is a rookie undrafted free agent from Stephen F. Austin.
Well, as I was editing this video, it's now official that Rodgers tore his Achilles. Setting aside the NFL script jokes, this is absolutely devastating for him and Jets fans. Considering Rodgers is almost 40 and that this is one of the most severe injuries one can suffer, this may be the last time we ever see him play. At least Jets fans got to experience that exciting ending against their division and in-state rival. But this injury does not bode well for the rest of their season. This was the worst case scenario for the Jets. And for the Bills, it was just embarrassing how they lost. It was truly a lose, lose, lose scenario. That last one representing the rest of us NFL fans, because now the national audience gets to watch four more primetime games with Zach Wilson under center. Anyways, if you guys like this quicker reactionary style video, let me know down below and I'll continue to make them after chaotic games like this one.